happy Monday. We're going to start off this vlog. My mom and I are about to head out the door to run some errands. Most of the items are just returning some things and dropping stuff off. Target, um, like Guitar Center maybe, Loft, a couple other places. We're obviously going to grab a coffee. But since it's Monday, we always like to get up and dress. So I wanted to show you guys my outfit. This adorable coat is from Zara. I have dark wash jeans on a brown little booty with a slight heel and then I'm taking my big tote today which I haven't worn in a minute but since I'm gonna take my camera I figured I would wear it so I hope you guys are all having a great start to your week we're gonna get this vlog started if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and I'm excited for another week in my life or days in my life in February okay we have all the packages and Leonbo's packages Whole Foods return Okay, we just got some Valentine's Day desserts. We were influenced. We got a little cake, which is so cute. And then some of these cookies and chocolates, and we're gonna do a little Valentine's Day spread tomorrow. We're flying through our errands. Hi friends, we're in the car right now. Happy Monday. Mom's driving and focusing on the road, so I'm just gonna talk to you. But we are running errands. We are heading out to Target, Walmart, and Home Depot to keep going with our some returns and getting some stuff and then we'll probably get some coffee and then we might go to like another shopping center to do some returns but that's kind of out of the way so we shall see but I just wanted to keep you guys updated it's this it's the prettiest day out and it's actually kind of warm which was so confusing because it was freezing this morning so yeah, it's a sunny day and it was a sunny day yesterday, but I didn't really leave the house So I'm happy that I'm enjoying it today, but I'm just gonna continue taking you guys along for our errands Nothing groundbreaking, but just a productive Monday getting our week started and getting things in order Hello everyone and happy Valentine's Day. We are heading down right now, dad, myself, and mother, to a lovely Valentine's Day dinner, the three of us, because we are each other's Valentine's. We are in our red and pink. We're so excited for this little heart dinner. It's gonna be fabulous. So I'll show you guys outfits once I'm there, but I hope you all had a lovely Tuesday and a lovely heart day with whoever you may celebrate it with. And mom and I mostly just worked all day at home and now we're gonna have a little celebratory dinner. But just wanted to con continue this week's vlog into today and I will share out the details and our dinner in a bit. The Terminal Tower is red for Valentine's Day. They light it up differently depending on different holidays. And that's so cute. from our Valentine's Day dinner and we have a little Valentine's dessert to set up. We got a lot of these things from Whole Foods. They had a, a big spread and my mom set this out before we left. We're gonna end our night with some of these Valentine's Day sweets. We have these adorable cake pops, some heart chocolates, some heart cookies in our biscuit box and we found this really cute heart cake from Whole Foods. And then these cookies also look really good. So I hope you all had a fabulous Valentine's Day. I know we did. We had such a fun Valentine's Day dinner, all three of us, and we're gonna have this little dessert and then get all snuggled into bed. But it was a really fun day. And thank you all for being my Valentine this year. You guys are my little hearts. <laughs> um, so I will probably see you guys tomorrow. I'll pick back up the vlog and we will continue this video. We are in Columbus starting off this little weekend vlog. We are here at Von Mar. I've never been here before. We're gonna do some shopping. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. This is lovely. It's lovely. I'm so excited. Hey. We're at this adorable coffee shop. It's called Crimson. I'm gonna do 1.5 so you guys can really see. Super cute. Okay, we're in the Amazon, what's it called? The style shop. And this is, there's only two in the country. There's one I think in California and then one in Columbus. Okay, look at that cute purse, guys. It actually looks like the one I have. That's why I like it. 
Um, also, this is what I'm wearing today. I don't think I ever showed it. My jacket's from Zara, dark wash jeans, Gucci loafers, and my purse. Give a little further shot. And look at who's here. Yeah. Elizabeth, she's back. She's meeting us here. We're having a shopping day. So yeah, this is so cool. I'm gonna link my Amazon storefront because I'm gonna um, update some pieces with some favorites that we find here. I just had to fill you guys in. Okay, so they have so many like cute options for clothes that are kind of already put together. And then what you can do is like send the sizes to a room because there's only one size out for everybody. So I wanted to show you this outfit. I'm gonna try on these like navy flowy pants with this cream sweater. I love this purse so much, but I feel like it's pretty similar to my Gucci one. So I could just like recreate it with this. And then a brown loafer, so chic and easy. So we've sent some stuff to the room to try on. And they've broken each section up to like classic. Um, what else? Like they have Levi's. They just have a lot of different options. So I like how they put things together for you. And then there's me. Good to see you. We are here at the RH Restaurante. Look how chic. Cute. I love it. It's got a little cocktail. I got the RH Bellini. Yeah, so cute. cute. So Cheers, cute. everybody, to girls' night. Little Yay. girls' overnight in Columbus. Yay! Okay, we just finished dinner, and this was the look for tonight. Super simple flare jeans. This top is from Zara. Hello. Hello. Wasn't it delicious? It was so so good. Good. You guys look so cute too. Everyone's kind of coordinating and we're going to head back to the hotel now. Okay, happy Friday. We had breakfast and now we're shopping. At Nordstrom. We went to Aritzia before this and now we're here at Nordstrom and we're just doing some shopping. This is just what I'm wearing. Pixie pants, J. Crew loafer, same Zara jacket and my Gucci purse. Um, it's freezing today, like literally freezing. So probably should have brought a boot, but we're gonna keep shopping around and I will keep you guys updated. We get coffee now. <laughs> we're back at the coffee shop from yesterday, which is so cute. Hello friends, happy President's Day, happy Monday. Um, it's been a minute since the previous clips. I, for some reason, was like really gung-ho last week and I was vlogging and then I just kind of like trickled off, but I did want to upload this video and I didn't want it to just be like six minutes because I was like, we have more to talk about. So now it's Monday of the following week and I was like, well, let's just wrap this vlog up so I can start a new video for this week but I wanted to do a little catch up. I am finishing up my afternoon coffee today when I'm sitting here talking to you. It is currently President's Day. So a lot of people have work off and I have actually had such a fun day. This morning I got up and went to a manicure and I got this like light pink color which is different than my normal OPI, kind of like that white-ish color neutral. I wanted something with a little bit more pink, so I did that this morning. And then I met two of my college friends downtown for lunch. We went to a really cute restaurant. I'll insert a clip. And one of my friends was in town from Nashville, and then the other one also didn't have work. So we all decided to get together, and I was there from like 12 to 3.30. Grabbed a coffee and came home. And then I was like, I want to talk to you guys, and I also wanted to show you my outfit before I change because I have a little bit of filming to do for a campaign that I'm working on with a brand. I also didn't vlog this weekend because we literally didn't leave the house, and we had so much cleaning out to do. Saturday, I cleaned out all day with my mom. We are, like, in a deep cleansing of things. We talked about this in the podcast, but my mom has started from the basement and is working up through the house, and so she helped me with my bedroom. We went through... Um, Elizabeth's room, Claire's room, linen closets, the basement, like everything. And then 
We did that all day Saturday and then Sunday we did the third floor and I helped my mom with that. And then I also set up my new podcasting equipment because you guys, we hit 100,000 total downloads for Bose and Company and so to mark that milestone, you know, I felt like we were an established podcast and I needed better equipment so we went and got new stuff. This was like a week and a half ago. I talk all about it on the podcast so I'm not going to repeat myself. But I do have a point to this. We got all new equipment, set it up on Sunday, which took some time, and recorded the podcast. And I go on and on in this podcast episode about, I'm like, oh my gosh, we have new equipment. And then I uploaded the episode this morning, and so many of you guys are DMing me. And apparently, <laughs> like, the microphones were split, so you can hear my mom in one ear of your AirPod or headphones, and then I'm in the other ear, which means that it was recording on one track. So I didn't even do it right. So I apologize if you listened to this week's episode and the audio was once again off, but I promise I will have that fixed by next weekend. So I really got ahead of myself because I was like bragging about how I have this new equipment and I set it up and it's better sound quality and then it wasn't. So I apologize for that. I was like at lunch and people were DMing me and I was like, oh no, what did I do this time? Because I'm always worried that something is going to go wrong every time I upload a podcast and it did. I mean like you can still hear us, but it's just like one of us in your left ear, one of us in your right ear, which is so annoying. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I'll do it right here because I think I can back up. So this is what I wore to lunch. Oh, I'll put my purse on so you can see. Like, I just filmed a TikTok, which like I low-key think I'm no, I high-key think I'm shadow banned on TikTok, but I feel like a lot of creators recently have been. So if you see my videos coming up on my for on your for you page, can you let me know? Because I don't think that they're coming up on people's for you page and like Nobody seeing them. I'm gonna keep posting because I like it, but so I'm wearing these really cute flare jeans. The flare jeans are from Cut, and then I'm wearing the little suede booties, which I feel like I wear all the time. Those are from Nordstrom. My blazer is from Walmart, actually. Is it Walmart? I literally think it's Walmart. It's from a minute ago. It's not recent, but I'm gonna try and find either the same one or something similar because it was at a great price. And then this like mock neck white top is from Anthropology. I got it back in the fall, but it's a really good layering piece under jackets, especially if you want like a little collar. And then I switched out my Gucci purse with the red strap because I thought that it made it a little bit more like casual and not as serious. And then I'm wearing uh, my two necklaces, like normal jewelry. So this is the look for lunch and I just wanted to show you guys before I potentially change because like I said I have to shoot some stuff. So that was my little weekend update. I was in my pajamas for two days straight cleaning out and setting up podcasting equipment so you didn't miss much but today was super fun and I am happy to be back on the vlog. Also what I wanted to share at the end of this video is Lagos sent me a little thank you piece of jewelry <laughs> um, for working with them because I did two separate campaigns with Lagos and then they sent me a little surprise. I am also going to film a TikTok because honestly we got to get these views. <laughs> we got to get these views higher ladies. So I think I'm going to do that first and then I'll pop back over here. Okay I'm also filming for TikTok right here so I'm just going to set you guys here so you can also see me unboxing it but I'm filming. I feel like when I'm filming for YouTube, it's so much easier to talk because I just like feel like you are my friends in my living room and we're just chatting. But something about TikTok is this is like actually the most atrocious angle. Something about TikTok is so much more nerve wracking. And I don't know why, because like I talk on my podcast and I talk on my YouTube channel, but I feel like with TikTok, you have no idea who could see it. You know what I mean? Like it's just so much more public. Well, not now because I'm shadow banned, but in theory. This is the bracelet that they sent me. I just put it on for the video. It is their signature silver caviar bracelet. Absolutely stunning. I got it in like a small plus because when I worked with them, a lot of the bracelets that they sent me in the small were a little too snug. This one's like a bit big, but I think that, I mean, it fits. I just feel like with stacked pieces, it'll be perfect. And what I like about this bracelet is that it's really easy to get on and off. Like you just clip it 
like that and I feel like so often bracelets can be difficult and for an everyday piece of jewelry you want it to be convenient and so I will say Lagos is so easy <laughs> to get on and off and I know that sounds silly but it's true if you're gonna invest in a luxury piece of jewelry I think that that's a huge part of it is just being able to throw it on and off even if you can sleep and shower in it whatever I take my jewelry all off at the end of the day so that's something that I look for in quality jewelry. Um, so yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited to receive this, share it with you guys. And I like that it's silver because I've been mixing metals ever since I got this ring. And then I had that other pearl ring that is kind of a more contemporary setting with my pearl. So I have been wearing a lot more silver and my watch is two-toned. So this just really makes sense. And I also like how it's a little fatter because it's a substantial bracelet. So it's so classic. I can't believe this is like my life and my job. It's one thing to work with such an amazing brand, but then it's another thing for the brand to like send you a thank you. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I would have <laughs> paid you guys to work with me. So I do not take this for granted in the slightest. Anyway, speaking of thrilling news, I'm going to the UPS store right now with my mom because we did free shipping for like the past week. We ran the free shipping for Valentine's Day and then we extended it today for President's Day. And you guys have been buying up our merchandise, which is fabulous. I'm really happy that the free shipping is something that is, like, I don't want to say an incentive, but it's clearly something that you guys really value when shopping. And so we're going to do this more often because sometimes we'll do, like, 10% off or 15% off. But it seems like free shipping is the way to go. So we had, like, over 60 orders this past week. So my mom was packaging all of the orders. So if you get something from us, just know that it was packed with care by Anne. So we're going to go to the UPS store and send those all out to you guys and then I think I have a few packages. We're going to go do that and then I will talk to you when I get back. Okay, we just got back from taking some packages, um, sending out your orders, and I picked up a lot of PR from my box. So I'm going to share it with you guys. The first being from Last Crumb, which I've been seeing so many influencers receive this box. So I was particularly excited this is a cookie company and look at how many cookies they sent me how insane this is so fun and they all come in these really unique different flavors so there's like apple pie pumpkin spice latte cookies and cream and then it looks like i'm sorry what is this for Remove cookie from bag, place on microwave safe container, microwave cookies 15 seconds, frost cookie with cream cheese icing, eat cookie. That is so creative. So I got a whole bunch of, so I got a whole box and then they sent a cute note. Hi Emily, so excited for you and your friends to try the world's most luxury cookies. You'll soon see how shockingly delicious they are. Until next time, last crumb. Well, Ann, Terry, and myself will be enjoying these for sure. So if you want to check out last crumb this is something really nice to send somebody especially if you don't live in the same city or just like for a birthday i think this is fabulous so i'm going to leave a link down below and we're going to have a little taste test tonight so this was the first thing that i wanted to share okay next up ysl beauty sent me their new mascara which i'm really excited to try i feel like i've been enjoying trying a lot of new makeup and so i am excited to see how this works um, and I like the sleek packaging. So they sent this over. Let's actually open it. So they sent me two of their Lash Clash mascara. And it's supposed to be really great volume. That's like what they focus on. So reviews to come. Excited to test this out for my makeup look tomorrow. And thank you YSL Beauty for sending that to me. Okay, next up we have another new set of fresh pajamas from Lake. Um, so I worked with Lake Pajamas for Valentine's Day. I got two new pairs and it really just reminded me how much I love these pajamas. And so then for the annual sale, um, they sent me a pair and I like this blue and white. I'm definitely going to save or not save these, but like they're gonna be perfect for this summer up at our lake house. Last, but certainly not least, PJ Salvage sent me a new pair of pajamas. Look at this fun pattern. It's gonna be perfect for spring break. These are pants and a matching top. And it also came with like this really cute, I think this is like a little hair piece, um, which I thought was precious and you could even wear it with like other outfits. And then they sent me this like bubblegum pink I think they're, they could be pajamas, but they kind of look like a set. Like I would wear this during the day. And I love this rib material and almost like a Henley shirt. So cute. And then they sent a nice handwritten note. Hi, Emily. We're so excited that you are collaborating with us. We love your style. We hope you like the cozy items and can't wait to see your content. XOXO PJ Salvage team. Wow. 
so nice of you guys to think of me and I am thrilled to wear these this winter especially like the long sleeve one I just think it's gonna be so cozy okay that concludes the little PR so yes that is everything that came in the mail today um, so my mom's making chili the whole house smells delicious right now and it got really cold this evening which was pretty nice all day I guess it was like 40 degrees but it was really sunny and then when we went to take the packages to the UPS store it was just absolutely frigid so I'm excited to have like a cozy night in and have some soup and it was so fun to see my college friends today and just have that big catch up and hear what's going on with everybody's lives and just have a good laugh and our food was honestly so delicious I feel like I ate so much at lunch but like I've digested so I'm like ready for dinner again I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'm going to be starting a new one tomorrow and I also have a very exciting event coming up this weekend I'm going to like a ball gala type situation with some friends we all got tickets and we're going it's like a fundraiser um so I have to figure out outfits so I think in the next video I'm going to be showing my outfits because like some people wear long but some people wear short it's kind of like that in between like black tie optional so that sometimes is harder you know because you don't know which way to go my hair is giving founding father but I need to wash it so I might work out in the morning and then Give it a good scrub a dub dub. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you always for tuning into these vlogs. It's always a fun time around here. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.